Today we're talking about the 2-5-1 progression. Um, this is a real common jazz progression, and um, maybe you've heard of it before. Um, so we're going to start out with our good old friend C major scale again. And so 2-5-1. friend was reminding me of this. Hopefully this you can see this too in the video. Hopefully that's not cut off. Um, write it again there. My friend was reminding me of this today and was asking me to put it on the internet. So here we go. Um, we're just going to um, build our, our seventh chords here again like we did in the other videos. If you haven't seen this you might want to review so this is all diatonic to the key of C, again, and we're just building these. Um, okay, so what we have here, let's not get this confused, um, we have our, this is our one chord, this is our root, um, so we'll call this one major seven we've got the 1, the 3, the 5, and the major 7 right here. So that's our 1 chord. Um, oops, I drew over that a little bit. Um, so then this chord, this is a D minor 7, because um, you've got D, F, A, and C. So this is our 2 minor 7 chord right here. You've got a 1, a flat 3, a 5 and a flat 7. Alright, so you might want to just try playing that. Um, I know you can't see the piano in this video, but there is the D minor 7 right here. And that's our 2. 2 minor 7. So that's the other chord that we're talking about today. And then lastly, we've got our 5 dominant 7. This is, we call it 5-7 chord. This is the fifth, um, fifth note of C major scale. So we've got a G, a B, a D, and an F. And that is a dominant 7 because you've got a 1, a 3, a 5, and a flat 7 right here. So, and that sounds like that. And so these are the three chords that we're talking about when we talk about a 2-5-1. Okay? Now, if you were to see this progression, um, say on a lead sheet, maybe, it would look probably something like this. D minor 7, G dominant 7 to C major 7. Um, sometimes you see different chord symbols. I don't know if we talked about that in another video. Um, but you might see, on a lead sheet, you might see something like this. So the chords are um, just notated here on these um, chord symbols, and then you might have the melody, you know, you might have some melody under it, you know, I don't know. It doesn't matter. We're not really talking about that right now, but we're talking about this, this progression. So this is the 2, 5, 1. So this is the 2, this is the 5, and this is the 1, D minor, G dominant 7, to C major. Let's listen to how that sounds. Now I'm going to just play these things in root position. That's D minor 7 to uh, G dominant 7 to C major 7. So listen to that again. D minor, G dominant, and C major 7. So one thing to do would be to write out all your two five ones, you know, and then um, and play them on uh, whatever instrument. It'd be really good to play them on piano, so you can see um, piano is a real linear instrument because um, you can see all of the chords by the nature of uh, how it's laid out. So um, I'd write them all out and uh, and play them and really try to get that sound in your head. I know I talk about that a lot. But um, that's kind of the beginning um, intro to 2-5-1. And then um, in 
future videos, we can talk about that on uh, other instruments. Um, I want to play some of those for you on guitar. And, um, and then maybe some different voicings on piano. So um, we're not just playing these things in root position. Um, we can talk about these and how they really relate to, um, especially jazz music, um, or at least in a, this is often talked about in a jazz context. Um, we see this progression all the time. Um, a lot of times I will open up um, a real book or some other kind of book to just show people how common this is. So um, play them and uh, we will uh, see you next time.